In this video, we are going to be looking at official settlement account. Official settlement account is the third part of balance of payments. And in our previous video, we have explained current account, capital account. So this is the concluding part, which is official settlement account. We implore you, those that have not watched the previous videos on the balance of payments, to do so, so that uh, to watch, so that they can understand this uh, video very well. So what is official settlement account? Official settlement account shows a central bank's holding of foreign assets relative to its asset by foreign central banks. So the concern of our official settlement account is to see, uh, to show the difference between the asset of foreign countries held by the central bank of the country and its own uh, assets held by other central banks in the, uh, uh, in the rest of the world. So what we are looking at now, yeah, we are looking at uh, the, the value of foreign assets in the country, such as the uh, government bonds of other countries, gold, foreign currencies and accounts of the country at international monetary fund that is imf because every country has account with uh, international monetary fund so we look at the the value of the country's uh, assets abroad that is the country assets are uh, in abroad and the foreign currency asset in the country so in our in our computation what we do is uh, we look at the country assets abroad which is going to be debited because it's money outflow so the money is moving away from the country is outflow of fund then we look at the foreign assets in the country this money is coming into the country so this is the uh it is it is a uh, inflow of money so it's going to be credited so, uh the balance of financial account is the difference between uh the country assets abroad and the foreign currency uh assets in the country we, we deduct uh countries assets abroad from the foreign currencies assets in the country so it's going to give us a balance of financial uh, accounts so we have it to be credit or debit it's going to be credit if our answer is positive and it's going to be debit if our answer is uh, uh negative that is if the answer we get from these two from uh debit here and credit here if it is if it is uh, positive it's going to be here and if it's negative it's going to be here then we have statistical discrepancy or net error omission net error omission of statistical discrepancy is very very important because in the course of computing uh the uh, the data getting all the country assets abroad getting all the country assets in, in for all the foreign countries assets in the country there might be a mistake that might be mixed up there might be imbalances so in order to to offshore all the imbalances so what we do is we we use statistical discrepancy or or net uh, error omission so why do we get that we are going to use balance of basic account minus financial account that is balance of financial account so our balance of basic account uh, consists of current account and capital account and how do we get that you will have your, your balance of current account and the balance of capital account together it's going to give you balance on basic account then you take away the balance of financial account which is here from that uh, answer from that balance on basic account then we are going to get your statistical discrepancy let's quickly look at this question here uh let's look at this question here if you look at this question now with all these items you have here you only need to look at the country's assets in uh, in abroad and the foreign currency assets in the country so you just need these two items here so this is the total here we have 240 for the country assets abroad and we have foreign currency assets uh, in the country foreign country assets in the country which is a uh, 270 dollar so we can quickly go back here now so what we do here is you know country assets abroad which is 240 that is money outflow so it's going to be debited then we have foreign currency assets in the country uh, which is going to be money inflow and it's going to be credited because it's coming into the country so the difference between the two 270 minus 240 is going to give you balance of balance of financial account which is 30 now how do we get our statistical discrepancy our statistical discrepancy that i've explained is uh, our balance on current account if you go back to our previous video on current account so you are going to see that our, our the balance on current account is thirty seven thousand eight hundred dollar then plus the balance on capital accounts you go back to the next video you see that our balance uh, on capital account is minus ten thousand dollar which is deficit so when you have these two together it's going to be thirty seven thousand eight hundred plus minus plus brackets minus ten thousand dollar you know plus times minus is going to give you minus which is going to be twenty seven thousand eight hundred you know eight hundred dollar minus this thirty this this is not this bracket is not there so minus this thirty dollar you know that is our balance of financial account minus this thirty dollar you know going back to our format 
you know to, to calculate statistical discrepancy so when you have your you know this 37,800 plus minus will give you minus ten thousand dollar will give you twenty six seven thousand dollar that twenty seven twenty seven thousand eight hundred dollar is our basic account minus our financial balance of financial account which is thirty uh, dollar which is here we are going to be having twenty seven thousand seven hundred seventy dollar that is our balance on financial balance uh that of, of of balance of official settlement account so this is our statistical discrepancy here this is the balance of financial account this is our statistical discrepancy that is how to solve it it's just as simple as that please subscribe so that you get more of our lovely video it's educative and also you know superb in presentation thank you